In Ballpark Village, it's just an amazing place to go in itself. And on the west side, there's an entrance to the Cardinals Hall of Fame and Museum. Hall of Fame's on the second floor. And you step off the elevator and see all these plaques. All the people in the Cardinals Hall of Fame have a plaque. And at the time we came, these were the two newest Hall of Famers inducted into the Cardinals Hall of Fame. Tim McCarver and Mark McGuire. And these are the past inductees. Starting with Rogers Hornsby, a bunch of them. Enos Slaughter, Stan Musial, Jack Buck, Bob Gibson, Whitey, Herzog, Ozzie Smith. Great names, great history. See, there's 125 years of Cardinal baseball history in this Hall of Fame museum. When you think of Cardinals baseball, you think of their greatest player, Stan Musial. And Stan Musial said, I love to play this game of baseball. I love putting on this uniform. You're, you're playing for the St. Louis Cardinals. It's an honor to wear the birds on the bat. The fans have uh, respect for the baseball game that uh, you love and cherish so dearly. He is going! The pitch is a strike! The throw! He is there! He did it! Oh, five I think when we say Cardinal, when we're talking about fundamentals, uh, the execution of fundamentals on a, on a daily basis, uh, playing the game the right way. We will see you! something about this atmosphere that, that helps you get to the best place that you can be. See some of the old uniforms, old style bats. Birth of the franchise, Browns joined the National League in 1892. That looks like pretty heavy material right there. <laughs> yeah. Double breasted even. And they won their first championship in 1926, their first of 11. It's got the bird on the bat there. Cardinals got a championship again in 1931. Some old merchandising, the Mudcats, and the Gas House game. And in 1934, they won their third World Series. And they won in 1942. There's Stan Musial's first home run ball in 1941. And this is a model of Sportsman's Park in 1926. That's where they won their first World Championship. There's a long list of Stan Musial records held at retirement. There's a Stan Musial section here. Number six. Stan Musial was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2011 by President Barack Obama. That's the highest civilian award that can be given. There's a picture of him with Michelle and Barack Obama. A lot of Stan Musial memorabilia here. No ball player is more beloved in St. Louis than Stan Musial. Embracing diversity, Tom Alston became the Cards' first black player in 1954. And thankfully, baseball is a very diverse game today. Make your call on historic plays. This is the broadcast booth. <laughs> you can come to the broadcast booth and pick a great moment in Cardinal history, like the David Freeze home run, 3,000 hits for Stan Musial, 17 strikeouts, different things like that. Oh, and of course, the Go Crazy Folks home run. And you can do your play-by-play -play over that footage and then play it back and hear yourself call the game. First, you get to hear the original call, and then you try to do the same call. All right, here's your chance to make the call. Oh, Here we go. Three, two, one. And he's up to the mound. And he's running, he's running, he's running, and... Safe. Safe. 105 for Lou Brock. Hey, that's not bad at all. Let's take a listen back. And he's up to the mound. And he's running, he's running, he's running. And he's safe. 105 for Lou Brock. It's cool. Papa Bell has his game used bad up there. Uh, Jersey. His speed and hitting ability helped him evolve into a feared offensive threat. Man, there's so much to see in here. She was the first woman owner. She actually inherited it from her uncle, Stanley okay. Robinson. Wow. Making her mark. And this tells the origin of the Cardinals logo, the birds on the bat. It started with Allie Mae Schmidt back in 1921. Her original artwork resulted in the team's birds on the bat logo, which debuted on the uniforms in 1922. 
Here's a tribute to Whitey Herzog's era with the Cardinals, Whitey Ball, which was about speed and stealing bases and getting one run at a time. And in this section, you can hold history, hold a bat used by a Cardinals great. You have to wear gloves, you have to be admitted by the attendant, no swinging the bats. So, you get to choose. Used by the gentleman on that sign. So, cool. all he asks is that you put on a pair of those fancy plastic gloves and you can, you can choose which one you want to hold. Stay in the usual blue brown, Kathy Smith, Yadam, and Matt Carpenter, and Dexter Fowler. Whose bat do you think is calling your name today? Oh, definitely blue brown. <laughs> all right. So, this is the bat he used for several seasons, but starting in 1964, which means that this is the bat that he used his very first season after coming to us from the Cubs. So, a lot of history with this bat. 33 ounces, it's 35 inches long. And a nice piece of history. Yeah. Donna's up to bat, she's ready. There's a look at the actual bats. It's pretty cool. Thank you. Thank you. And this documents the home run chase of 1998 between Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa. That was an incredible year. It was fun to watch. They traded blows until September 25th when Sosa took a brief lead with 66 home runs. McGuire tied him just minutes later and pulled away to finish with 70 home runs. What a record. Some seats from the old stadium. Bush number two. Bush two. Here's the old round Bush Stadium with the arches all around the circumference. There's the Albertos, the running Redbirds. Al Herbrowski's jersey, Lou Brock. Albertos dominate National League, win 1967 series. And this room shows all the championships that St. Louis won. 26, 31, 34, 42, 44, 46, 64, 67, 82, 2006 and 2011. Zima trophies, 2011, 2006, 82, 67. There's just a lot to see here and there's some interactive exhibits which make it fun too. Tons of history. There's the groundbreaking shovel for Bush Stadium 3 and they call Bush Stadium baseball heaven. And here's a model of Bush Stadium 3. Really a cool park, very classic looking and a fun place to go see a game. Even if you get the bleacher seats. Remember we paid like four bucks for bleacher seats. Yeah. Bleacher seats are a lot of fun. I remember doing that when I was a kid. Bleacher seats were where we always sat. And how about the Hall of Fame Museum? Oh, the Hall of Fame Museum was awesome. It reminded me of being a little kid and going to the, I guess it would have been Bush Stadium 2, which yeah. I didn't know that at the time, with my mom and dad, and he was a big fan. And that was the whole era that was like Lou Brock and Bob Gibson. So yeah, good time. My brother used to say, I want to grow up and be just like Wu Bach. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye. Have a great day, and please like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel if you would. And come to St. Louis. There's so much to do. Yeah, not just the Cardinals. There's a lot to do here. Yes. And we come here all the time. Okay. Bye. Bye.